Hey, Dad. What's up? Nothing. Just relaxing in the backyard. Anyway, I wanted to ask you, can you explain to me the difference between Overdrive and Libby? I'm interested in borrowing this ebook, but I'm not sure which app I should be using. Yeah, that's a great question. Essentially, Overdrive is the desktop version, which has more features and lets you stream titles online, where Libby is meant for your phone or tablet. And it's a more convenient option in case you're on the go. But I'm staying home right now. I don't want to risk going anywhere. I'm not saying you have to go anywhere. I'm just saying that if you're walking around the house, maybe you're doing some cleaning outside, doing some gardening, you'd probably prefer Libby because it's on the go. But if you're near a computer or you just wanted more features in general, then you'd want to choose Overdrive. Oh, I see. And that's why you download the title on your phone with Libby, since you can walk around with it. Otherwise, you can just stream it using Overdrive. Yeah, exactly. You get it. I get it now. Libby is jelly and Overdrive is jam. Uh, what's that? Well, I mean jelly as a flavor, but jam offers more substance. That's a unique comparison, but sure, that makes sense, yeah. Or Libby is like... Or Libby is like a memoir, and Overdrive is an autobiography. Sure. Yeah, that's great, that's great. That also makes sense. Uh, I'm just glad that you... You see, a memoir is only about a specific aspect. Yeah, okay, you're a massive... But an autobiography covers their whole life. Hi, everyone. This is Vince from Vaughn Public Libraries. If you're looking for quick and easy ways to access ebooks and audiobooks from VPL, then you're going to love the Overdrive and Libby application. To give us a closer look, my colleague Alicia is here to show us around. So we'll start on the Vaughn Public Libraries homepage. And from there, we'll head over to Downloads and Digital which brings us to the eBooks and eAudiobooks tab. So I'm just gonna scroll until I find Overdrive. And then I'm gonna click on that link. And from the Overdrive homepage, I'm gonna sign into my account. From this drop-down menu, I'm gonna select Bond Public Libraries. Now you can use your VPL account to access Markham Public Library and Richmond Hill Public Library collections, but for now, I'm gonna stick with Bond. And then I'm going to type in my library card number and my PIN, and then sign in. So from the homepage, I can search for a specific title using the search bar up at the top, or I can browse for available titles by scrolling this page. I can also browse by subject, by collection, by kids, and by teens. So when I'm checking out a title, I want to be careful to note the format. If I'm interested in checking out an ebook, I want to make sure that there is a little book icon with the word ebook beside it. And if I'm looking for an e audiobook, I'm looking for a headphone symbol and the word audiobook beside it. I also want to be sure that the title is currently available to borrow, so I'm going to look for the green banner above the image that says available. I could check out the title from this page by clicking borrow, or I can click on the image to get a little bit more information. I'm going to go ahead and borrow this one, and my loan period is set for 21 days. I'm going to borrow, and now my options are to download or to read now in browser. And I'm going to go over these options a little bit more later, so I'm going to close that. Now to place a hold, we're going to look for a title that is not currently available. So from this white banner, I can see that there is a waitlist, and I could place myself on that waitlist by placing a hold here or I can click and get a little bit more information. So I can see that the wait time is about six weeks and there's about six copies circulating. So if I were to place a hold, I would put myself in line for those copies. So now I'm ready to start reading. I'm gonna to go to my loans page. So from my account, you can get to your loans, but you can also get directly to your loans from this bookshelf icon right here. And these are my checked out items. So again, my options are to download or to read now. Reading now in a browser does not require any additional software, but does require an internet connection. So I can click on this link and the book will open in a new tab. And if I close that link, Overdrive will save my spot. So when I reopen it, it will resume from where I left off. Downloading titles allows you to access the book without an internet connection but it does require additional software. 
So to download, you will need to download Adobe Digital Editions, which is available for Mac and Windows. And you can find that from the Adobe website. You will also need to create an Adobe ID if you don't already have one. And again, that can be done from the Adobe website. So once your account is created and the program is installed, you'll need to authorize your computer. So you can do that by opening the Adobe Digital Editions program and going to Help and selecting Authorize Your Computer. And this is where you would type in your Adobe ID and your password. Now my mine is already authorized, so it won't let me do that. So once that's done, you're basically all good to go. So what you have to do is just go back to OverDrive and select Download and it'll warn you about that. And then that should open automatically in Adobe Digital Editions. To download MP3 files for e-audiobooks, you'll need to install the OverDrive desktop app, which unfortunately is only available for Windows computers. On your mobile device, you'll want to open either the App Store or the Play Store and search for the Libby app. So I'm just going to install this. So once it's installed, I'm just going to open the app. And you'll have to set up your account before using the features, so you'll want to follow the prompts on the screen. So I'm going to select yes, I do have a library card. And then I'm going to search for a library. And here I'm going to search for Vaughn Public Libraries. And I'm just going to tap on that once it appears. So now I want to enter library account details. And I'm going to type in my library card number. And then I'm going to tap next. And then I'll type in my PIN. And then I'll press sign in. And so there's my card and I'm just going to hit next. So once you're signed in, the app will bring you to the Vaughn Public Libraries collection homepage. On the bottom of the screen, you should see two options, library and shelf. Library is where you'll find titles to check out and shelf is where you'll find your checked out items and your holds. So to check a title out, we'll go back to the library screen. Up at the top, you'll see a search bar, which allows you to search for specific titles or authors. You can browse by scrolling down the screen or by tapping explore. You also have the option to set your preferences by format and by some other filters as well. So if you apply these filters, Libby will save your preferences for future searches. To check out an item, you first want to note the format. If a cover has an earbud symbol and the word audio on it, that means it's an e-audio book. If there's no symbol, it's an ebook. To know if a title is available for checkout, you may need to tap on the cover image. So di directly below the image, you should see the word borrow, otherwise it will say place a hold. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow this one. And then I'm going to press borrow again. Now you'll notice the download circle beside the title. Your default Libby preference is set to automatically download titles as long as you're on Wi-Fi. You can change this feature on shelf page, which I'll go over a little bit later. For now, I can open the book and start reading, or I can go back to the library screen. To place a hold on an item, I'm going to find a title that is not currently available. So I can place a hold directly from this screen, or I can tap on the image to get a little bit more information. So here I can see that the wait time is about 13 weeks for this title. So I'm going to go ahead and place a hold. And I have some more information here and I'll place a hold again. And that's my confirmation there. So now let's have a look at the shelf page. So here I can see my checked out items and I can find my holds by tapping on holds. I can start reading my loans by tapping on the image, or I can tap open book. So to set my preferred download options, 
I'm going to tap actions on this page. And then I'm going to tap change download rules. So you see here you have some options based on preference, including only downloading smaller files or manually choosing which ones to download. This is a good feature to keep in mind if you have limited storage space on your device. Most ebook files are fairly small and download quickly, but e audiobooks are much larger files and not only take up a lot of storage space, but they can take a while to download. So that's about it for Libby. If you have any further questions, you can always reach out to the Vaughn Public Library staff online or consult the OverDrive help site. For information on using OverDrive on a computer, please see our how to video on OverDrive. These apps are a perfect way to get you reading as quickly and as seamlessly as possible. And don't forget, for a more convenient option, try Libby so you can download titles on the go. But if you're looking for direct streaming and more features, try OverDrive. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. We're going to be creating more videos like this that can show you how apps can make your stay-at-home life so much easier. From everyone here at VPL, thanks for watching and stay safe.